Now, lots to unpack from the budget at the moment, but I believe the biggest headline emerging right now is for is in the taxes regime. We kept talking all morning how this is the last budget before general election and it has turned out to be a real populist one. There seems to be something for the lower income groups, there seems to be something which has emerged for the middle class and then there is something for the ultra rich as well. We look at all those things one by one, the tax regime that has come out right now, we have the entire plate over here. Let's go through it one by one, major changes in the sector. Oh, definitely. So everyone stands to save. So someone who was earlier earning 3 lakhs was actually liable to pay 5% of tax in the last 50,000 of his income will actually now pay nothing. Hmm. So we'll save 5% in the 50,000 extra income that he earned. So effectively saving 2,500 rupees. Similarly, this track tax bracket was earlier for 2.5 to 5 lakh people hmm. earning between. So someone who's earning 6 lakhs is actually now saving 5% in the incremental 1 lakh of his earnings. So again, someone earning between 5 to 6 lakh, this is a big change. Again, here, this bracket was earlier for 5 to 7.5. Now, anyone earning between 7.5 to 9 is actually paying 5% lesser taxes. So again, something here for them. This was previously for 7.5 to 10. So now anyone who's earning between 10 to 12 is now paying 5% lesser taxes and that compounds over previous brackets as Correct. well. And again, here, this bracket, this, th there was previously additional bracket here that was 20% uh, and 25% that is completely removed. So this is simplified, one tax bracket is actually gone. And huge gain for these people because someone earning 15 lakhs was earlier paying 25% instead of 20%. That, and, and above 15 lakhs, this is where I believe anyone who's earning between 15 lakhs to 5 crores, hmm. nothing extra special for them, no big incentives for them. So they would feel a little left out. So either you have to be middle class or ultra HNI. You have to be either middle class or, or ultra, ultra HNI. HNI. You're basically saying that this 15 lakh and above until 5 crore, that's, that is the unchanged. But let's take that for an example. Let's simplify that per sure. se as well. And I want to specifically talk about the 5 CR plus as well. You spoke about that. Say 5 CR is what your income is. Why don't you break it down for us and tell sure. us how exactly this is going to pan out. Sure. Now. So this surcharge that has reduced, huh. only people who are earning greater than 5 CR will be benefited. So for hmm. simplification, we take an example of an individual actually earning 10 CR. Hmm. So now... Uh, the, let, me, the, let me remove this and make it easier for you. Yeah. Right. Huh. The change for this person hmm. is that his income that was between 5 crore to 10 crore. So hmm. 5 crores of incremental income above the 5 crore of base income. That is where 3% roughly of tax outgo has reduced which means on anything that I earn between 5 CR to 10 CR I am now paying 3% lesser taxes effectively okay which means on 1 crore I am saving 3 lakhs of taxes hmm. so on 5 crores if I am earning 10 CR I am saving 15 lakh rupees so yeah. this is big yeah. and as this figure rises if hmm. someone is earning 15 crores 20 crores for every 1 crore of additional income, hmm. any HNI is saving 3 lakhs per crore. That's huge. That's huge and yeah. I think this is very important because hmm. these were the people who would then, you know, either try to avoid taxes through legal, illegal means or hmm. would shift this income to a corporate and take advantage of 25% taxes. Hmm. So, so when you rationalize these people, you incentivize that, you know, flow of black money is reducing because now you can say that 3% lesser taxes. And I think this is the right step because this is where income tax comes from. These people are the ones who give income tax revenue to the government. Hmm. And if you're reducing taxes for them, you're actually incentivizing them to stay compliant. So hmm. big step. Big step there. So we spoke about H&I's. Let's get back to our lower income group as well and say how what's happening there. Let's take a similar example. Let's take under, let's take about 10 lakh or so. What happens then? Right. So if someone is earning, I would say uh, 10 lakhs. Correct. Earlier, the bracket was simple. Anyone earning 10 lakhs has to pay 20%. Now, if this reduces, let's go back. Hmm. If, if this reduces to 15%, 15%, which is 5% down, which is 5% down, yeah. then, so, so it, it, it gets a little complicated because mm. the steps, because every time on your first 0 mm. to 3 lakhs, it's nil, on the next, it's 5 and taxes mm. are 
you know, attached that yeah. way. But but roughly saying on the last 2.5 lakhs, hmm. so the change is between 7.5 to 10. Hmm. That is where the reduction has happened. So in the last 2.5 lakhs, if you reduce it by 5%, that's a gain of 12,500 rupees. That's again a gain over there that you're seeing. What about these 15 lakh above then? I'm still sort of caught up with what are these people thinking at this point? Uh, again, I mean, per se, nothing is directed towards them. Mm. So no direct impact, but because mm. slabs on the previous segments have reduced, mm. they will be benefited. So mm. earlier on the first, say, 12 lakhs of their income, the slab was more than this it was 20 percent hmm. and on anything that earned between 12.5 to 15 they paid 25 percent so between 12.5 to 15 that's 2.5 lakh rupees now they are paying 20 percent instead of 25 percent so five percent savings there again 12,500 yeah. there hmm. probably similar amount here and here so something for them but hmm. no, but that's incidental hmm. that's that's not directed towards them and considering how much benefits people earning above 5 lakhs, 5 crores have got, I think it's fair that they would have expected more.